right into the back of Chris Buescher in an awkward spot in the left rear quarter of that car nearly turned Chris Buescher in front of the entire field. Everybody got away with it, but still they're four wide from about the 11th spot on back, including the lap car of Denny Hamlin. If somebody had been willing to lift about a lap and a half ago, this four wide dilemma could have been solved. But at this point, lifting is not even a vague part of anybody's plan. They're still four deep all the way back through. So you got the front four in single file formation. You got about four or five rows of double wide. Then you get into three wide. Then you get into four wide. It's a major traffic jam off the end of the back straightaway. Everybody just now looking to find a spot to find some real estate. Eric Almirola has found it. He leads the outside lane. Here he comes, racing up to the outside of leader William Byron. 29 now to go. 29 laps here at Talladega. William Byron on the bottom. Eric Almirola on the top. Behind those two, a pair of Ford Mustangs. Ryan Blaney and Kevin Harvick is back. Here they come into turn number one. William Byron, bottom of the racetrack, try to get a piece of Eric Almirola for the lead now. He puts a fender inside. He pulls even. He puts a fender out in front. William Byron by a nose. Everybody settles down now, back to double wide formation. At about that time, here's Chris Buescher and company. They're trying to get the third lane rolling topside, not having much success as William Byron, Ryan Blaney, and Alex Bowman are the front three down low. Kevin Harvick is as up in the high side, fourth in line, just to the outside of Alex Bowman. Bowman looks for room, swings back up along that bottom lane, right behind Ryan Blaney. All of this when an impending pit stop still to be made. They cannot make it the rest of the distance on this tank of Sunoco fuel. These uh, drivers getting a little less fuel in the tank, but it is worth talking about as the drivers running in the middle of the draft are not burning near as much fuel as the drivers at the front of the draft. They're on and off the throttle throughout, just simply managing the gap. So those drivers in the middle of the pack are able to go a little bit further. Problem being, though, is you need help to come to pit lane to get back up to speed when you exit. So you got to get to the track position, meaning the bottom side of the speedway to get to pit road off turn number four. And there's a lot of cars, Jeff, beginning to maneuver out there to try to do just that. They're going to have to maneuver in a hurry because Steve, Jason, and Georgia are telling us, get ready. Within another four or five laps, we should see the manufacturers work together and come to pit road. And at this trouble right here in the trioval hard crash, Carson Hosevar involved in the crash. Austin Dillon involved in the crash. That broke out at the exit of the trioval. Brad Keselowski will pound the inside safer barrier. Ty Gibbs gets a piece of it as well. This coming out of the trioval looked like Carson Hosevar got a little bit sideways, perhaps got turned around, and that triggered the crash. Sliding across the start finish line, that'll put us under the caution flag with 27 laps to go. Big crash here at Talladega. Kevin Harvick is the race leader. He was leading at the end of lap 161. It's Harvick, Elmarola, Riley Herbst, William Byron, Bubba Wallace under caution. Big crash right here on the trioval. We'll recap that accident for you when we come back. 162 complete, 25 to go. Next time by, it is Kevin Harvick leading at Talladega. And from Talladega Super Speedway, this is the Motor Racing Network, the voice of NASCAR. At least eight cars swept up in this crash. As a matter of fact, it's the first time, actually the second time we've seen the caution come out due to an incident. Ross Chastain brought out the first one when he crashed up in turn three, and now this one. We'll recap those involved in a moment. It was outside of the top 15 or thereabouts. Carson Hosevar from the middle lane to the outside lane in front of Brad Kozlowski. That is not an uncommon maneuver in drafting type racing. You go up to try to latch on and, and be the leader of that line. The problem is, is that outside lane led by Kozlowski and a host of others there had a full head of steam. 
and there was a big, big speed difference when Hosevar jumped up there to try to, to jump into that line. Keselowski, with nothing to do, got into the back of Hosevar, turned him to driver's left. Brad Keselowski was able to continue on with no problem, but when Hosevar came down the track, he clipped Austin Dillon and others. They rocketed back up the racetrack and then hit Keselowski. Big crash here at the start-finish line with 25 laps to go, and Kevin Harvick is the race leader. Here at the Talladega Super Speedway, the field is going to be coming to a stop on the exit of turn number four uh, on the short straightaway there. Red flag is about to be put out there. A lot of cleanup here at the trioval area and into turn number one. We'll update you on the cleanup progress when we come back. From Talladega Super Speedway, this is the Motor Racing Network, the voice of NASCAR. Back here at the Talladega Super Speedway as we sit under the red flag for cleanup here after the multi-car crash at the start-finish line. Now, to add insult to injury on the cleanup process, the AMR safety team now is taking a look at the safer barrier right here at our feet below us uh, on the short straightaway headed for the start-finish line where both Ty Gibbs and Austin Dillon rocketed up at a 45-degree angle and made hard impact with that safer barrier. So there is some damage to the safer wall right there. That's going to take some time to, to get that taken care of. Red flag out, 25 laps to go. Why don't we tell you where your favorite driver is running or for some of you now won't be running any longer. Kevin Harvick is out front looking for career win number 61. More on Kevin here in a moment. Eric Almarola, his teammate, is second. Riley Herbst has had an amazing weekend and all he wants to do now is close it out. He is third in front of William Byron and Bubba Wallace at your top five. Ryan Blaney is sixth. Alex Bowman is seventh. Kyle Larson is eighth. Daniel Suarez is ninth. And Ricky Stenhouse Jr. is tenth. 